guys, remember, do you remember Olaf from the Frozen movie and also the Frozen 2, which came out unknown? There was a song called Into the Unknown. But there's also another person called Olaf, and he was actually historical, meaning that he was real person living in this real world. Wow. His full name was Olaf II of Denmark. He was the ruler of Norway and Denmark, and he ruled at 16, but was very nice by the by the Danish and Norwegian people. Okay, wait, wait. But what, what did you say about 16? He died at the age of 16. And he was a king. And he was a king. And but how old did he become a king? Five. Wow. Okay, so, but someone helped him, right? Because yeah, not being a five-year-old. He dude. was his. She was his mother, Margrethe the first. She was born in Denmark, but married Nor Norway's King Hakon the sixth. Wow. And who is that? Who was the king of Norway at the age of three by his father Magnus the fourth and seventh. Wow. He was the fourth and seventh. Because he was both king of Norway and Sweden, but he lost his throne to the German king Albert, Duke of Mecklenburg. Wow. Why? And then Margrethe's only oh. living brother, Christopher, <laughs> died at the age of 22. Oh my god. Valdemar IV, her father's only living children, were Margrethe and her sister Ingeborg. Of course, she was her older sister because she had no younger brothers or sisters. She was the youngest, sixth and final child. Most of Valdemar's children were probably stillbirth or miscarriage, or they died shortly after birth. Oh my gosh, that's or so sad. Or died at the age of one or two or three, oh. or died very young, but over three. But... Uh-huh. They... That still got Margrethe under control. Mm -hmm. And she was the regent for her son Olaf until he died at the age of 16. She until was a what? She was the regent okay. for her son Olaf who died at the age of 16. Oh, that means she helped him? Yeah, but that was unacceptable because, her, because he was her only child. Had no living children because he died at 16. Oh, that's so sad. But she did choose an heir. The best choice, she chose the best choice, luckily for her, which was her older sister Ingeborg's 15 year old grandson. He was, he was half Swedish and half Dan Danish in royalty because his grandfather, the husband of Ingborg, Henry the Third, was actually the brother to the new German king, Albert, Duke of Mecklenburg. Wow. So he chooses him and he changed his name to the more Danish sounding Eric. So he so his name was actually Eric of Pomerania. Cool, Eric. I and he name. was, he and his sister Catherine were now raised by their great aunt, Margreta. Cool. Thank you so much for telling me that big story. Yeah. Bye. Bye.